Hello everyone, it's Brandon again, and on our previous videos we've been trying Chrome OS Flex on these old low-powered laptops. Today I'm going to try it on my main desktop computer here. This has a Ryzen 9 30, I think it's like 39 something X. It's 12 uh, cores, 24 threads, 32 gigs of RAM, 4 screens, lots of hard drive space. And we're just going to see how it boots up. Now one thing I had to do here is... Um, just turn the Wi-Fi back on on this computer, which I did have disabled, because I noticed that Chrome OS Flex doesn't work with Ethernet. At least not the Ethernet on my computer. Also, I'd like to welcome my cameraman, Benton, here with me today. Always good to have him. I know. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to boot it and see where we get. I tried to thumbs up them, but it <laughs> didn't work well. I'll just extend your thumb all the way. Very good. All right. It always takes longer to boot from the USB. And I'm not actually going to install it on this thing because this is my main workstation. I, uh, I can't be putting Chrome on it yet. So let's get started. We're going to try it. And we're going to connect to my Wi Fi. I'm not getting a very strong signal here. Yeah. Which is why I always use Ethernet anyway. Is the Ethernet coming from there? Well, it's plugged into the back of there. But it's actually, the connection comes in through our back room, and it's hmm. wired here. Alright, we'll accept. We'll say this is me. Next. Let me sign in. Alright, sorry for the uh, recording problem. What happened is I got one of those prompts to sign in and I have to accept it. And it came up on the phone. And so I think I got it here. Uh, guess you just can't do everything at once on a phone. Hold on. Do some camera a little bit. A temporary room hand should do it because um, I need to get my hair so I can get oh. in a little closer. Okay. I've temporarily lost my cameraman, but let's continue. Um, I agree, I agree. Next. I am back. Okay, it's just loading. And the other screens you can see are just blank. But that is the Chrome OS background. I can use the camera back. All right. Google Assistant unable to load. I don't know why. Okay. Voice match is ready. There we go. Get started. All right. Here we got it running on four monitors. Now, we can go back then a little bit so we can see all four screens at once. Yeah. yeah. I want to show you, if I go to um, settings and display, here we can manage all of our displays. Mm. And so, if I can remember which monitor is which. Yeah. This one, Samsung, that's a TV, that goes up here. Asus, okay, these two are flipped around, and this one goes here. All right, so now I got my four monitors all working here very nicely. Can you see all of them on there, Benton? Um, I, yeah. All right, so that's all pretty neat. Um, I probably can't, I don't think I can activate the Linux terminal on this without installing it, and like I said, I'm definitely not going to install this my workstation. Chrome, I mean, maybe someday I would, but it's really not there yet. Aww. But as you can see, it's running pretty good. And it detects all three of the hard drives I got on my computer there, which is good. And so what we have here is running Chrome OS Flex on a high-end computer. I should have noted this has a, um, it has an AMD, I think it's a RX 560 or something like that video card. And so it seems to be working. I don't know how it would work with a 
particular can, game or anything like can, that. Look, can we do a little with that screen up there? Yeah, we can put something up there. Just drag something over. Yeah. All right. Screen recording right here, just the uh, main window. And like I said, this is all running off of the USB. So the performance is probably not going to be as good as it otherwise would be had I installed it. But it does, it is working pretty good for how it is. Why are you um, screen recording this time? So I can show. Sorry about that, I'm back. So anyway, with four monitors here, this setup actually works quite well. And what I am going to do is go into the flags and turn on the uh, the other launcher. I like the launcher that opens up right here. I think that's called the productivity launcher. Yeah. So it's an, oh wait, I'm gonna have to restart it to enable that. Oh, that's too bad. Um, but anyway, this all works and looks pretty good on a big screen. I th this is something I could definitely see myself using once they flesh it out a little bit. If the Linux support was just a little bit better, um, I don't personally need Android on such a big device, but um, it would be nice to have. As you can see, the file manager uh, looks pretty good. You got your drive here. You got all your hard drives. One thing I do wish it had, though, um, I like to be able to go to one of my hard drives and right-click on it and open in a new window. That's missing here. Um, that's That goes for folders in general. I'd like to be able to open a folder in a new window. You can't do that. You can just go over here and open a new files window, but it'd be handy to be able to either have tabs or a new window, which is kind of what I'd prefer. But yeah, this uh, this runs good. Everything's smooth. It's definitely, I can tell it's faster than on my laptops. Like I said, I'm not going to install it to this device yet, but maybe someday I will. I at least need to be able to run VirtualBox and Android Studio on this thing before I could do it. But anyway, yeah, this screen recording works good on here um everything just looks nice so that's chrome os flex running on a higher end machine i don't know if i said it yet in this video this is a uh, ryzen 9 gosh i think i want to say 3990x or something it's a and uh 32 gigs of ram three hard drives radeon rx5 80 something graphics card so it's a reasonable computer and it runs reasonably well on chrome os flex so if you have any questions about this you can let me know in the comments uh check out the part one if you haven't which kind of goes through putting in the usb stick and getting this set up and uh, like the video subscribe and of course have a good day one thing i forgot i just wanted to add before i ended the video it did detect my microphone and my webcam, my USB webcam, just right off the bat, no problems. So that's that's positive. Um, I didn't, I wasn't able to get it to play sounds out of my speakers though, that are connected into the regular, the green speaker port. But I do have a TV as one of my monitors that has speakers, and so I was able to get sound playing through that. Um, and if you're in a setup like this. I just want to show you next to the uh, the little speaker down here, you can click on this and you can choose your output and input devices. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that in before I ended the video. That's all. Thanks again for watching.